Hey everybody, this is Jeremiah Craig, and I'm joined by my wife, Brenna, over here. We're doing something a little different today. It's not music related, and it's not boot related. You see, a friend sent us a leather tote from Go Forth Goods. What's it called? It is the Avery Leather Tote, medium size. Ooh. Whatever that means. <laughs> well, we'll find out what it means. Let's get into it. Let's open it up. No knives necessary. You are so excited for this, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Who's not excited for fun random gifts? Fun random gifts. Whoa. Oh, this is the deluxe one. It's got the zipper. Dang. This is the Avery Tote Deluxe. Whoa. High quality. I wish you guys could feel this. It's like a really nice thick bag. This is a really nice leather. Do the bag rundown. This isn't my area, so I'm relying completely on your expertise when it comes to bags and totes. <laughs> All right, so it's got a strap. First thing you wanna do is check that it can go over your arm. Ooh, can it? How does it feel? It's perfect. It hits at the right place. You know, you've got room to maneuver. Because if you're in the grocery store or like running errands or something, you need the room, mm -hmm. right? It's definitely important. You'd be nice little a uh, pouch here on the outside, throw your, your grocery list or whatever, your coupons in there so it doesn't get lost. Oh, that's really soft on the inside. That's really nice. That is like nice Like the leather. outside is almost like a waxed leather, so maybe it's got a little... I think they said that this was drum dyed, so it's dyed all the way through. Got it. And then you've got these really beautiful like copper grommets, and I'm interested to see like how these straps hold up over time because the whole story about this company is that the founder's straps broke right before they were supposed to go on a family trip. The fact that they only have two grommets on each of these straps makes me think like, okay, are you really taking that to heart? But I mean, they seem like they're pretty well in there. I saw them do a test on YouTube where they put an anvil on top of this while it was also hanging from the ceiling. So they, so it was basically holding up an anvil. So I think it's probably so we're gonna not be okay. gonna have any issues. No, I don't think you're gonna have any issues with this. <laughs> I like the shape. It's not too big. I'm a small person, so size is very important to me. Um, and this is a good size to be able to like commute back and forth to work or go on a picnic, get your groceries done, and it's not gonna like overwhelm you. It's not gonna be too much. Wow, I kind of want one now too. You're not having this one. <laughs> on the zipper here, the YKK zipper, so it's not like a super custom zipper or anything like that. We saw um, the YKK zipper on the JW boots too. They got a zipper in Monopoly. It's got this nice little leather pull. Uh, let's see how the zipper does. This is like a test. Zipper test. That okay. was a satisfying a zip. Little, it, it was like a hardy zip, not as like oiled as it could be, but holy crap, Whoa, pockets. Whoa, look at all those pockets. Get a good sniff. How's it smell? So Here, good. Give me a, give me a whiff. <laughs> Ooh, the leather smells is so nice. <laughs> it smells really good. I don't know if anyone out there like likes the smell of leather. Are you kidding me? You're talking to a boot channel. <laughs> <laughs> I love the smell of leather. It's like it reminds me of being a kid and like hanging out in the horse stables when I did lessons and like you smell the saddle and you're like, oh yes, this is the smell of happiness being mm -hmm. outside, a kid, you know, freedom, all that kind of stuff. This is just, smells exactly like that. I absolutely <laughs> love it. Um, outside of that, tons of pockets in here. So you got one big pocket, you got one big pocket on each side and a smaller pocket right next to it. They're put in here with um, like this panel. Oh, nice. So they have a really solid construction, but you don't see uh, the grommets from the outside. Those are actually the strap grommets. So you don't see any other details on the outside. So that's a really nice way that they've done it there. Yeah, that is a good design. One hanging pocket on each side. You got a little keychain ring here too. Yeah, so you don't lose your keys. That's good because it's a big bag. It's not lined at all, so it's full leather. Mm -hmm. Looks like a single piece of leather for the like the side of the bag. So you get one texture on the inside, which is that like soft, the rough, waxy, yeah. rough kind of leather, and then the finished leather on the uh, outside. So that helps with the weight. Looks like it's pen proof, which is nice. All pen you ladies proof? know what I'm talking about. Tell me what I, that is, because I have no idea. Uh, well. I have a tendency, like many other people, to just throw pens in your purse. You know, you're going shopping, you need to like check off a list, or you've got a notebook, you're on your way to work or something, you throw a pen in your purse. 
lo and behold, that pen uncaps or squeezes against the side and like gets, you know, the, the bottom comes out and it gets all over your bag. And so if you have a bag that has like a nice lining, pen is gonna be everywhere because it just like, it's a thin lining so you can color on it. This, because it's a dark lining, you're not gonna see anything like that. Um, or like a makeup spill or an eyeliner opens in there. You're not gonna see that. It's dark color inside. I like that. It does make it hard to find things at night. Like if you're coming home, trying to find your keys, it's like good thing you've got the little, where did it go? Yeah, the little ring over here. The little key ring. Because or you could put a little flashlight on there. You could put a little flashlight on there. That's a good idea. Yeah, it is. But it's it's very dark inside. Uh, even with these bright lights in here, like I still am having trouble like seeing all the way down into the bottom of this thing. Or if you're coming in, you know, later at night, your boyfriend, husband's already gone to bed, like good luck not waking him up, shuffling around for shit in your purse. It smells so good. This is awesome. I really like it. I like the amount of pockets. It's not like too many pockets. It's nice. It's I like the amount. simplicity of it. Yeah. A lot of times you have like all these zippers and like extra buttons on the in on the inside pockets or on the outside pockets, and you're just like, why do you need that many buttons and zippers and stuff? This it has no buttons or zippers. It's just a pocket here, and then on the inside there's pockets. The only zipper here is the zipper to open the entire thing. So it's just really simple. I like the design of it. It feels great. Feels like it's gonna last forever. Yeah. So I really like this bag. I think the company, I love their mission. They donate 10% of their um, profits to nonprofits, which is really cool. I love that they have a mission that they're going out for. All 100% American made, small batch, handcrafted. I mean, the quality of this is incredible. Yeah, and that does make their products a little bit more expensive, but US made, things are gonna get a little bit more expensive, especially when you make quality goods. You can't make quality good stuff in the USA without having a price tag that reflects that. So this retails for $300 on their website. Definitely feels like a bag that is going to last you for however long $300 should last you for a purse. Um, probably forever. <laughs> probably forever. I mean, we were talking about how this is something that you could probably pass down, and you're telling me that they put an anvil on these straps, so I feel pretty good about that. I mean, I personally prize something that is more durable and will last a long time over something that is like super beautiful and delicate. Mm -hmm. So I know that there are definitely purses out there that cost $300 that you can, like, the one, I think it was Lizzo took to the Grammys. It's like this big, you can't even fit your phone in it. Probably cost more than $300. And you can put like uh, a single piece of paper in there. Like, great, that's good for some people. Um, but I think something like this is probably more where I would invest my money. Um, just because it's gonna last, if you're gonna spend that kind of money, you might as well get a good investment out of it. And this feels like something that's actually a good investment. Awesome, let us know what you think of the Avery Tote by Go Forth Goods down in the comments, and also let us know what you thought of this video. It's a little bit different from what we usually do, but we thought it'd be a fun thing to try. So let us know what you are feeling about this type of thing, and if you wanna see more of it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Peace. Go forth goods, American made. Just like they should, they're living up to the name. What do you think of the Go Forth Goods tote? Let me know down in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching today and I will see you next time. Peace.